I burned up another one of these, so that's two down. This is my last one. This is a brand new one. Still has the stock FETs in there. Had to change the uh, cap down there. Had a 4MF 200 volt. I got a 3.3 .3 at 400 volt down there. It gets warm. Yeah, I've got uh, seventy two P PF per side output the spark gap this point one five MF input it's a Dumont transformer it's a high frequency there's my ground wire for the uh, domes and that's the little tiny spark gap still cranking away there but yeah if I increase the spark gap the uh, output off the uh, coil up there goes down if I decrease the frequency it goes down I thought I needed more spark this thing will kick out the sparks Okay, what I'd like to mention, this added cap I replaced, this 3.3 400 volt, that baby is warm, it is hot, that is hot, that is really doing some work down there, so I'm going to have to increase that, the voltage on it. And that's really working overtime. That is really working over. That's a 3.3 .3, 450 volt. Yeah. It had a 4 at 200 volt. 4 MF at 400 volt. My four microfarad at 200 volt and now it has a 3.3 .3 at 450 volts and that baby gets warm it is hot so I may have to put that big son of a gun back on there yeah. thought I'd add that something to watch for if you mess with one of these that's two volts per division Okay, well maybe uh, that's them. Yeah, those, those are pretty sharp. Uh, yeah, those are probably four nanos. Ten nanos. I don't know if they can get any sharper. It, it could be could be four or five nanos. Yeah, I would put it around 200 megahertz. Let me switch it over to the uh, tubes. Okay, that's off the tube. I'm getting a lot smoother spark. Oh, this thing can't go any. So I didn't have a. Oh shoot! I reset the thing. Five. Okay, this is two volts per division, which is really 20 volts. Yeah, we've got 200 volts down here. So I guess there's my nanosecond pulses right there. 
This machine can't make them any thinner. And those ten thousand. They're, they're, they're at least five. They're reading a maximum of five. From the small ones, five nanos. It's a 20 megahertz machine. I guess there they are. I just didn't have it set close enough or uh, wide enough to pick them up. Now let's see if we can get a better picture. There's the ringing. It's a little too... There we go. Yeah, I got the frequency set down on this right now. I could crank it up. Okay, we'll go back to 50 nanos. Okay, this is reading 440 kilohertz, 190 volt peaks. I'll crank it up. Output is now... Point three six. 0.36 milliwatts per square centimeter. FM radio isn't even gonna be understood. That's full of static. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how good this webcam's picking this up. This is reading 200 volts, 495, 514 kilohertz. This is 2 volts per division, which is really 20, because I am using a divide by 10. S scale across is 50 nanoseconds. Each one of these rods is as thin as this machine can make it, and it's reading 5 nanoseconds which puts it around 200 megahertz so we're in the megahertz range 200 volts peaks I guess that's not too bad gotta figure out what to do with the things now